basically, the essence of the STFAP and the STS is the same. The only difference is the convenience of the process to the students. One, the application process, na bawasan nito, and also the amount that was set for each bracket. But still, it is still socialized tuition fee. It is still tuition fee. And actually, we want to acknowledge that tuition fee is the biggest hindrance to education. Now, with that said, it is not the mandate of of the chart and also the government states that education is a right and you must have accessible education for, for all. That is full state subsidy. That, that is what we are fighting for. But STS and STPAP, no matter what it's called, it's the same thing. It's tuition fee, so it's tuition fee for the students, which is not supposed to be there in the first place. students should not settle with what the government is giving us. It, is, it has to be a change in mindset. Because right now, the government is hands-off with their mandate in serving the Filipino people. They are relying too much on private entities, on westernized cultures, and conforming. But actually, they don't have to by giving us basic social services, education for um, one big example. So right now, the students should continue to fight against this. Dapat hindi sila magsettle. We cannot keep bargaining with the government. We should continuously fight for our rights and be firm about this each and every time. So, no student, I think, should settle and you know may ambag ang mga, ang mga sudyante. A continuous fight to end the discrimination, to end the unjust policies and yung pagkukulang, malaking pagkukulang ng gobyerno. I think that would be my my hands because my hands can be used to reach out to every UP student and my hands my hands are here to be able to unite not just the student body but all the entire UP community and when we're able to unite the UP community by serving and by giving tangible results from materialized projects, activities, campaigns, and advocacies, we will be able to have a more effective and efficient USC. Also, with the hand, with our hand gestures, gestures, it's a way to show respect. Respect is one of the most important virtues to be able to have good working relationships with any organization, anyone who's affiliated, even with other political parties. Respecting the ideals, opinions, and beliefs and focusing on the strengths of each individual. That's how I would like, I would like to be as a student leader.